Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba <coughs> here on Monday, September 16th, 2019. And here is a special commentary. I believe uh, I'll be sitting in for Paul Harvey today. I hope I do good justice to him. And if Mr. Paul Harvey Jr. is watching this, let me know because I think this is. Uh, Mr. Paul Harvey would have loved this commentary. So here we go. Good morning, Americans. Well, in 1863, President Lincoln wrote, The government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall now perish on this earth. I submit to you that that government perished in April of 1865. Because right after the assassination of said President Lincoln, the radical Republicans took over and everything in the government changed. They started putting these amendments, the 13th, the 14th and the 15th, Especially the 14th Amendment. Boy, has that caused a lot of problems through the 154 years. Hasn't it? And I'll give it to that one later. And then, on the latter half of the 19th century, you said, oh, well, we have, uh, the African Americans have their rights. They have the right to vote, the right to do anything they want. For a short while, they may have. But then again, the radical Republicans were in charge. But, like I said in numerous videos before, the Compromise of 1877 killed that for the next a hundred and some years. And we're still living under the consequences of the Compromise of 1877. That was one of the reasons why your government perished. The 14th Amendment is another one where you <clears throat> watered down that amendment so bad that you created the Jim Crow laws in the South and segregation in the North. And not only for African Americans, but for other uh, entities too. You never resolved your Native American problem. You still have it even today. It cost Wounded Knee in 1972 and then you had other amendments that came in, the 16th Amendment, which allows the government to tax you unlimited anything they want to tax you on. And like I tell you in numerous videos, they can even tax you on number one and number two if they have to, anything to get money. Uh, you know, they're taxing you on your TV. Remember TV was supposed to be free and now you have to pay taxes on that? Ooh, ain't that fun? They tax you on death. They tax you on birth. Pretty soon there will be a birth tax. Hey, you want to come into this world, you got to pay a tax for having a child. Yeah, right. I bet you that's on the works. Well, you have those. And then for men, or some men anyway, the 19th Amendment is probably saying, <coughs> and you know what that is. That's a different story. But anyway, then you have laws. And remember, justice and the law is not the same thing. It never was and it never will be. There's a difference between justice and the law. And the way I look at it, when you have a violation, say sexual violation to a lady, you have a certain amount of time to report it, don't you? Otherwise, it becomes a statute of limitations, if I understand your system correctly. And the Democrats are using these poor ladies for political gain. And they're allowing themselves to be used because they didn't report it. And they don't understand it. It doesn't matter that the system views you bad as long as you got a written report of it to a police department. They can tell, go stick it, see you later, we don't want to hear it, 
you still have to take the report and put it on. Once they do that, that becomes part of the public record. You have gone out there and accused this guy of this. Whether he went to court or not, or the case was dismissed, the record is there. You never did that for the for uh, uh, Judge Kavanaugh, did you? And it goes even further than that. They try to do that for Justice Thomas. And how about Justice William O. Douglas? He was a guy that today's press would have loved him. What did he have, three or four divorces and all kinds of hanky-panky going on, which the government and the press looked the other way. And then you had a vicious uh, prosecution effort by then-Congressman Gerald R. Ford, who hated him with a passion. But what happened when Ford became president in 1975, when William O. Douglas finally retired? President Ford went over there to him and said, bygones be bygones. And that's his exact words, by the way. So you see, Americans, this is your favorite alien and Bubba here saying, your government died in 1865, and what do you have today? Just a shell. And the Democrats are proving it by going after Judge Kavanaugh. So he won. Sour grapes. Did he do it? Maybe. Maybe not. But it's the ladies' responsibility. They should have gone over there and put it on a record. He did this to me. They never did that. That's what you got to do. Forget about your shame and stuff like that. When somebody does something to you, you put it on the record. You did this to me. And then if you did that to you... Hey, uh, you would have had a big record today, but there's nothing on the record for that. It's he said, she said. They didn't go to the law enforcement to file the complaint. That's what you have to do, file the complaint. Whether law enforcement wants to do anything with it or not, that's a different story. But it's out there for the government and the citizens to see. That is the part of your U.S. government that you guys never understood. Oh, it's, it's going to make me look bad, and it's going to, they're going to drive me crazy if we go to trial because they're going to, yeah, they're going to put your name in the mud. That's the way the system works. You never bother to change it, but that's the way it works. And whatever happened to the uh, law of time here, where you had a certain time to do this, and after that, it was gone. A lot of rapists have gone free on this. This is what I'm saying, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba. Your government has perished from the earth a long time ago. Sitting in for Paul Harvey, good day.